<laughs> we are very fortunate that we have locally a rabbi. One of the problems with the shower stalls, as you may figure once you start looking around, out of 1,100 uh, stoles, over 1,100 stoles in this exhibit, only three of them are uh, uh, prayer shawls. Three Jewish representations over 1,100. And that's because we are very fortunate that in the majority of denominations of Judaism, we now have uh, open and affirming uh, congregations. Okay, or at least they're, they're given the ability to be open and affirming. But I have a marvelous friend and colleague, uh, Rabbi Arnie Slutelberg from Shir Congregation, Congregation Shir Tikva in Troy, who is going to speak to us for a couple of minutes. And I want to see where are you? Please, welcome. welcome.
discrimination, just a few years later, this became the topic. Can gay people uh, be admitted to the seminary, seminary openly gay uh, candidates for the rabbinate, and can uh, gay rabbis serve openly in the reform movement? And so it was so interesting to be part of that uh, debate and, and, and also witness to all of the uh, pros and cons that were being brought forward at the time and to know that this debate was happening about me. And uh, ultimately, thank God, uh, it went in our favor and the reform movement very shortly after my ordination, within a couple of years, became a completely open denomination that was followed maybe a decade later by the conservative movement, the reconstructionist movement was already on board, the renewal movement never did have an issue with homosexuality, and um, uh, e even within the orthodox world we're seeing uh, incremental um, acceptance. Um, and so, uh, and, and yet, in my early years here in the Detroit area, if I was in a restaurant with uh, with another guy or with several other guys, and, uh, and a congregant walked in, I started to sweat. I started to be nervous because I was not officially out. There were people who knew, but I had announced it. I, I was under the impression at that time that it was irrelevant, that it neither made me a better rabbi nor a worse rabbi, and therefore it was irrelevant, and why would I announce or make an issue out of irrelevant topics. Uh, I have since changed my mind about that. Um, I think it is relevant. I think it does make me a better rabbi. I think the experience of the closet and the empathy that I have developed uh, because of, of that pain has given me an, an extra degree of of openness and acceptance of all kinds of differences. And so I think it's really relevant. Um, same, I think, with uh, uh, women clergy. Um, it would, it, I think that for a long time we claimed that, you know, it, 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 it doesn't, uh, it, it, being male or female is irrelevant to how, uh, what kind of a rabbi you can be or what kind of a clergy person you can be. Honestly, I think women, uh, it, it, it is a general statement, but I, I, I think that, again, feeling the, the, the weight of historic oppression on women in patriarchal societies has given women a, a, a quite a heads up in terms of being effective, loving, caring clergy. Um, and I think that's the case also for, uh, for gay folks. Um, I've taken the opportunity to read a number of the stories on these stoles, and uh, many of them just break your heart. I mean, these are real, live human beings with souls, with spirits, with love in their hearts, who desire nothing more than to serve God and to be there for people as inspiration. And way too many are being denied the opportunity to be themselves fully and completely and share their love of God with others. And what a loss for the world. What a loss for the denominations, for the members of the denominations who are denied the opportunity to be effectively served by these wonderful people. The, uh, the fact that we can have this display in 2015 is testament to how far we've come. The fact that we need to have this display in 2015 is evidence of how far we yet need to go. I am overwhelmed with gratitude and appreciation for all of you who have made this happen, um, and I hope that all of us in this room will tell everyone we know that this is happening over the next few weeks, to come and see and experience and read and 
try to understand the world in allowing people of a vast array of difference to be able to serve God with full hearts, full souls, complete openness, 